the closest to Allah Azza wa Jal when we are in the state of sujood. So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when you are in that position, is'al, ask, ask, whatever you want. Allah Azza wa Jal Himself said, fasjud waqtarib. The more you make sujood, the closer you are to me. So when we are in sujood, make any dua, ya akhi, any dua. And Ibn Al-Qayyim Rahimahullah, he said, Sir, the secret of Salat is in sujood. Can I make dua from the Quran? Yes, absolutely. Rabbana, atina fi dunya hasana, wa fi al-akhirati hasana, wa qina adhab al-nar. You make dua from the Quran. The duas in the Quran are the best duas ever. Then after that, the duas from the authentic sunnah. What are the duas that Rasulullah taught us in the sujood? The ones that are common, Subhanak Allahumma Rabbana wa bihamdik, Allahumma ghfirli. This is in Bukhari. Rasulullah used to say this in Ruku' and in Sujood. Subbuhun Quddusun Rabbul Malaikati wal Ruh. In Ruku' in Sujood. Number one, Rasulullah said, uh, he used to say in his Sujood, Allahumma ghfirli dhambi kulla. Diqahu wa jilla. Awalahu wa akhirah. Ala niyatahu. Wasra, Ya Allah, forgive all my sins, the small ones and the big ones, the first ones and the last ones, the ones I did in secret and the ones I did in public. Yani, there's no more sins left. <laughs> all kinds of sins. Ya Allah, forgive them all. That's the first one. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she mentions that one night the Prophet ﷺ was not in the bed next to her. And she said, I started looking for him. And of course, because it was dark, she said, I started moving my hand around. So she said, I ended up with my hand on his foot وسلم, and his foot was upright, meaning he was in a place of sajda. And I heard the Prophet وسلم, saying, أَعُوذُ بِرِضَاكَ مِنْ صَحَتِكَ وَبِمُعَافَاتِكَ مِنْ عُقُوبَتِكَ وَأَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنْكَ لَا أُحْصِي ثَنَاءً عَلَيْكَ أَنْتَ كَمَا أَثْنَيْتَ عَلَى نَفْسِكَ The very famous dua that we should make every single night, I seek refuge in your pleasure from your anger. And I seek refuge in your forgiveness from your punishment. And I seek refuge in you from you. And I cannot praise you as you have praised yourself. Meaning my praise is always going to be insufficient and your praise for yourself will always be greater, O oh Allah. This was the Prophet ﷺ in his sajda and there are narrations that are so remarkably consistent about his du'as inside the house and outside the house. And this is particularly where you find the Sahaba mentioning the Prophet ﷺ one time in sujood for so long that they thought he was dead. How long would you have to be in prostration and how still would you have to be for people to think that you were dead. And that was the case of the Prophet ﷺ. And when they asked the Prophet ﷺ what had happened as he raised his head, Rasulullah ﷺ was crying and Jibreel ﷺ came to the Prophet ﷺ and he asked the Prophet ﷺ, Allah has sent me to you to see why you are crying. And the Prophet ﷺ was crying for what? Ummati, Ummati, my Ummah, my Ummah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends Jibreel alayhi salam to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to tell him, سَنُرْضِيكَ فِي أُمَّتِكَ We will please you with your ummah. وَلَا نَسُوكَ And we will not disappoint you with your ummah.